Thank you very much. Honorable members, is there any party that wishes to make remarks? The Honorable Maimani. And uh, let me first and foremost say, uh, let me congratulate firstly Speaker and Deputy Speaker. I think it's, it's a crucial time in our nation and we need a parliament that will work for the people of South Africa. And therefore I want to urge that from the leadership of this house, we have been entrusted with the most privileged duty our nation could ever ask us to do, which is to serve the people of this country. And therefore, I want to send our congratulations and call upon all of us as members of parliament to say, our objective here is to serve the people of this country and we better never fail them at a moment such as this one. I would also like to say to Ntadesaral Ramaphosa, this election takes place at a time when 10 million of our people are unemployed. It takes place at a time where our citizens are feeling unsafe. It takes place at a time where our young people need to get through school. You, sir, have been entrusted with the great privilege of leading our nation at such a time as this. I want to say from our party and from me personally, I wish you great success. Amorena Ahoboloke. And I wish to say to you, that when the decisions that you take are for the interests of our nations and for the people of this country, we will be the first ones to support you. It is also to say that I know that when those interests are about shielding those who need to take accountability for the time that has come before us, for those who have looted from our nation, I wish to say, sir, we will be holding you to account that those members who have looted from our country actually see jail. <laughs> Lastly, I wish to say that Ramaphosa, may this be a season of better collaboration. We may have been opponents, we may have stood on opposite aisles, but more than anything, both of us are proud, proud patriots of our country and we've been elected to serve our people. And therefore, may it be a term where in this sixth parliament we can collaborate better, serve our people better, so that this country be the country that we destined for it to become. So I thank you, Rakyal. Thank you very much. The Honorable Malema. Thank you very much. I want to take this opportunity to congratulate Mbogoto Mkonto Wesizwe Tandimudise, the militant and uncompromising woman who led from the front when it was not fashionable to do so. Here, the ANC has managed to deploy a trusted force of our people. And for that, we congratulate you. We hope we'll work together, met Andy. There will be heated moment. There will be a robust debate. You should never degenerate and be partisan when the house degenerate. You should remain a speaker and be a speaker of all of us. Because if you degenerate, you'll never get this house in order. Always know that you might be coming from a particular political party, but sitting up there, you now preside over all of us. We are all your children, and you must not discriminate us. Treat us equally with respect. We'll return the favor. Once we feel targeted and neglected and rejected, we shall show you the other side of us. So if we all treat each other with respect, we have nothing to worry about. 
We grew under your leadership. And we know when we see you, we see Winnie Mandela in action. And we are happy that you are not part of the people who once denounced and disowned Winnie Mandela. You stood with her when it was not fashionable to do so. That's why you are a dependable force of our people. Deputy Speaker, we congratulate you and we hope that we'll work together for the next uh, five years. You had a difficulty with 25. I don't know how you'll manage with 44. Uh, I hope that uh, you'll, you'll indeed try to navigate through and make sure that we succeed. Comrade President, we congratulate you and we hope that you will be a president of a corrupt free government and you will not subject yourself to views of factionalism. There are people who thrive through patronizing presidents. They tell you all you want to hear and as a result you are unable to make informed decisions because you surrender yourself with praise singers and yes men and yes women. I've seen young men and women from the benches of the ANC. Maybe it is time to consider them so that they can come to you with fresh ideas, with new ideas, and if they don't like positions, they will be able to be honest with you. You need someone who's going to be honest with you. The position you occupy needs someone who's going to be honest with you because those who failed were told many a times that they are right even when they were wrong. Even when the constitutional court said to them, you are wrong. Even when the public protector said to them, you are wrong. Those around them kept on telling them they are right. And that's why they got it wrong. You must never ever listen to those who say you are right against the courts of South Africa, against chapter 9 institutions of South Africa. Those are the institutions which are meant to defend our democracy and they will forever uh, guide us. So, President, there are people who served long in cabinet from Mandela's time. I have nothing against them. And I don't know why they don't make your work easy by coming to you and say we are not available, maybe as advisors. So that they give room, they give room to new ideas. Comrade President, Stellenbosch is a big problem. We know your proximity to Stellenbosch. We know your proximity to, Ste to Oppenheimers. We have not elected Oppenheimers. We have not elected Stellenbosch yet. I told your predecessor in 2011 that we have not elected the Guptas. We elected him. And he must lead us. He refused to listen to that. We are warning you, President. We have not elected the Ruperts yet. We have not elected the Oppenheimers. Listen to the collective wisdom of people you are elected with, not white monopoly capital. It will not be here to defend you. Once you listen to white monopoly capital, you must know that you are likely not to finish your term. All the best, President. We are here. We are watching you and will continue to engage you openly, not in secret. Thank you. Thank you. Honorable Speaker, and Honorable Deputy Speaker, Honorable Chief Justice, Your Excellency, our President, Honorable Members, I consider it, Madam Speaker, to be a privilege for me to congratulate His Excellency, our elected President of the Republic. On behalf of the Inkara Freedom Party, I wish you strength, I wish you wisdom, and we wish you support. 
as the oldest member of this August House, it is my prerogative to speak about the past. I have served my country for more than 60 years and have witnessed the leadership of Mr. J.G. G. Stradom, H.F. Ferwood, B.J. Foster, Maria F. Leon, P.W. Porter, and President F.W.T. Clerk. And I had the privilege of serving this country, Your Excellency, under our President, Mr. Mandela, and also our President, Mr. Mpeg. I've entered this house alongside these great sons of the soil. In all these years, I've seen our country at crossroads more than once, and I've come to recognize the leadership it takes to navigate South Africa safely to the right path. Undoubtedly, we stand now at the crossroads again, desperate to move away from the shadows of corruption towards the light of growth, investment, unity, and justice. It will take a unique leader to navigate this course. Such leader deserves support from among his own ranks, as well as from us in the opposition benches. We're not here to overlook mistakes or to turn a blind eye to wrongs, but we're here to secure the best interests of our country. If you are serving the best interests of our country, Your Excellency, I can assure you of, of uh, our support. If you do the right thing for South Africa, I would always do that. This is the kind of constructive opposition we've tried to give to this House. History has chosen President Ramaphosa for the present task. May he be the leader that our country needs at this crucial time. I thank you, Madam Speaker. See you, Bonga Baba. The Honorable Grunewald. Geachte speaker, ik weet u is Afrikaans goed machtig. Ik ken u al sinds 1994. Van die Vrijheidsfront Plus wil ons voor u sê baie hartelijk geluk. Ons dink u is die rechte kandidaat. En dat u die taak als speaker van hierdie huis met gezag, met respect, met orde en weer de herstel van integriteit in die nationale vergadering zal bestuur. Baie sterkte, die achtbare Malema het naar u verwijs, u was een soldaat, ik weet u was een rechte soldaat. Niet mensen wat maken of een soldaten was. Je hebt die discipline. En ik glo en ik weet, je zal dat hand af. Waar is sterk en waar geluk? Dank u. Honorable president. Firstly, I want to congratulate you. As elected for the next five years. But if I say that, honorable president, I also want to say that. There's a huge responsibility on your shoulders. The people of South Africa want hope. They want hope for the future. That's what we need in South Africa. And if I say that, and when I say that, I also want to say to you that part of that responsibility is that you are now also the president of the people, all the people of South Africa, South African citizens. And therefore, you must ensure that the interest of the people of South Africa is more important than the interest of your political party, the African National Congress. You have certain constitutional obligations Section 83. You have to ensure and enhance nation building in South Africa. And it's actually a pity that I hear again the narrative of white people still doing this and doing that. Honorable President, 
it will be your task to ensure that that narrative just disappear. That we are all South Africans. And the Freedom Front Plus always say that we want to build South Africa. Throughout my campaign, I've used the comparison to say that you cannot be a tree in a bush. And if the bush is on fire, think that you're not going to burn. You're also going to burn. We are in South Africa together. So the Freedom Front Plus wants to build South Africa. But as we say ons will South Africa bow, then say ons work that the rechte van minderhede moet erken word en allemaal moet billik en rechtverdig behandel word. Ons wil sien dat daar rechtverdige behandeling is. Ons wil sien dat daar een wil is by u as president dat allemaal moet hande vat om Suid-Afrika te bouw. Ek wil ook vir u sê, dit was vir my een besondere geleentheid vir ochend toe die hoofrechter op sy knie gegaan het en gebid het. It is a pity, Honorable Chief Justice, that you did not have a microphone with you so that the whole of South Africa could hear what you are praying. But as a Christian, I also want to say that that is the correct thing that you did this morning because this is what South Africa need. We have to pray to ensure that there is hope for the future. En kom ek sê vir die achtbare president, as a Christen wil ons ook sê dat as ons ons land wil genees, dan moet u maar 2 Kronieke 7 vers 14 gaan lees. Want die Heere sê vir ons, as ons ons self verootmoedig en ons ons sondes belei, dan sal hy ons uit die himmel hoor en ons land genees. Honorable President, the Freedom Front Plus, we say, let's stop fighting for a better past. Let's fight for a better future. En in gebed sal ons oorwin. Baie geluk en baie sterk. The Honorable Mishwe. Honorable Chief Justice, Honorable Speaker, Honorable President, I stand on behalf of the African Christian Democratic Party to wish you God's best during this five-year term. But may I remind the Speaker, as I also congratulate her for being elected as a Speaker of the National Assembly, that there are people out there who are not happy to hear about the South African Parliament, particularly the National Assembly, being a circus. There are people out there that are saying the decorum of Parliament should be restored. There are people out there who want to see leaders who respect one another, leaders who operate in line with the Constitution. Leaders who understand that people who differ from you are not enemies. And therefore, they would want to see order in this place. Those who refer to your past as a soldier know you as a person of order. So the ACDP requests that let the people of South Africa see that there is a change in this house, that there is order. So I congratulate you and hope that the expectations and wishes of South Africans are going to be realized. And to the president, 
we understood that there are things you could not do earlier because you were an acting interim president. But now you have been fully elected. We expect the president to show strength that did not show the first few years when he was acting. We expect the president to be tough on corruption. Corruption is the number one giant that is facing South Africa. And we are hoping that the president now having all the powers of the president, he will be able to deal with corruption wherever it raises its head. That the president will know that he's not just the president of a political party, the ANC only, but he's the president of the rest of South Africa. And may expectations of the international community and South Africans in particular not be disappointed. You'd be surprised, Mr. President, to know that there are people who are not members of the ANC who voted for you because they had hope that if we give him the chance, he's going to deliver. And my wish and prayer is that you will become bold, bold to act when you have to act. My prayer is that you will not fear the face of men. My prayer for you, Mr. President, is that you will be like a living fish. You know, a dead fish follows a stream. It goes where the stream goes. But a living fish can turn against the stream and go where he wants to go. So I pray and I wish that, Mr. President, you'll show your strength, you'll show courage, you'll show boldness. If there is corruption on your side, you will act decisively. And when it's corruption on my left, you will also act decisively. I pray you that the next five years will become some of the best since the days of the late Mr. Mandela. Thank you, and God bless you. The Honorable Retired General Holomisa. Uh, order. <laughs> Madam Speaker, Honorable President, and Honorable Members, Zegas Nopala deserve congratulator. The Kinsegile Nekesle Apple Koyo. Oh, Nimonyolele. Oh, yeah, President, congratulations, sir. And I hope that uh, in solving the problems of this country, you, are, you will apply a non-partisan approach. In that way, you will get a lot of support from this house. Thank you. Thank you very much. The Honorable Muhammad. Hendricks. Assalamu alaikum. Honorable Speaker, the liberation movement has delivered its best speaker, it's delivered its best deputy speaker. It has delivered the best president, inshallah. I want to share with this house the words of Chief Albert Latuli, where he said, let my people go. And this has a special meaning for al Jamaa. It means that the president of the country or the leader of the country must also listen to the voices of those from the liberation movement. I want to ask the president to do that and to ignore other voices. Ignore voices that wants to spill blood and, and distract you from your very important way forward. al Jamaa, we are the new kid on the block. 
We st our forefathers started the liberation movement 325 years ago. They were the first fighters. I told that to Honorable uh, 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 Malema, Julius Malema, that the first fighters came from Malaysia. And they came to, f to conquer colonialism in Cape Town, and there's still some work to be done. We hope to make a contribution in that regard. Congratulations, Mr. President. Thank you, sir. The Honorable Jilin. Madam Speaker, I want to congratulate you and the Deputy for your um, election this afternoon. Uh, and I want to promise you that I will behave. <laughs> Mr. President, I remember 25 years ago when we first arrived in this house. There was a relatively young man who was leading us um, in writing the final constitution. And that was you. I'm, I'm not saying you're not young anymore, but you were. <laughs> <laughs> and during that time, Mr. President, we were in a country with unprecedented hope. We only wanted the best for our country. In fact, the whole world joined us to bring an end to racial division and class division. Now, following a decade of despair, the formerly young, the formerly young man returns to parliament to lead us, but what is way down on you, Mr. President, is the expectation of our people. The expectation that we will see a mature government, a government of integrity, a government that can deliver better services, that can deal with inequality and injustices. So, I would like to congratulate you, Mr. President, on your election as the first um, uh, for the first office of our land, and I want to offer to you the support of good and the love of good. But the love is not unconditional, Mr. President. You may get unconditional love from that side of the house. But we would like to see that we hold government in, um, accountable in a constructive way, in a way that can build this country to make sure that the most vulnerable and the poor people in our country deserve better. I think the elected have spoken and we must respect that. I do hope that we can all agree that it's unacceptable that we had such a low voter turnout. And we must interrogate why. Because God forbid, if 25 years into our new democracy, many of our people decide to stay at home. So I'm sure, Mr. President, we can make progress by bringing and making our people more responsive to our democracy and participating. And it's good we will be there to help. And may God bless Africa. And may God bless the leaders of Africa. I thank you. Thank you very much. The Honorable Sibisi. Uh, Madam Speaker and the Deputy Speaker, Gimi La Gifisa Ukuluma on behalf of our president, we NFP, Visit Gamakwaza, Uti Uyan Bongela, Goguti Namsanje, you have been elected as speaker, not deputy speaker. 
uthi ufisa ukuthi lo msebenzi ningawubamba ni uphathise okuyekhalisa abantunga uh, to our elected honorable president matamela ramaphosa uthi kosikazi uvize kamagwaza msibu zizwe thobekile ukuthi uphinde wathola ithuba elifana nalelo ukuthi uqokwe bese uhola izwe uthi abantu baseningizimu Afrika bakhombisa ukuwethemba ukhumbule mongameli ukuthi akusibona abantu abawu ANC kuphela abakhombisa ukuwethemba ukhumbule mongameli kunabantu emakhaya lasuka khona njengoba kuzoqala ubusika abangeke bawathola amanzi ukhumbule mongameli ukuthi kunabantu abakuvotele bengenawo umhlaba Agesi sheshi sege utaba lomshaba abantu emakaya baswele bashupegile. Ungakshayi indiva loko. Ukumbule monga meli uglusa o premia kuma provinces akolo ANC. Intutugo baileta inke tabakona. Unenda o lama unge suona u ANC yonge wuitoli intutugo. Impilo SSI pilile u 25 years. Now, as NFP, we are saying we want to make change and we want to see change. Sikfisela in Tantra, Sio Wesega, Ugogonke, Oyo Gwenza, Oyo Tutugisa, Katalele, Abandu, Basenengism, Africa. Lagmele Sikselele Kona, Sio Segela. La Oyo Begnaham, Bikona Gashes, Sio Oshomonga Meli, Uti Loku, Agugute. In Transway to Su NFP, Sifisu Bona is a letter to Enningism, Africa, Little Jobala, Likulang Shonagwezom Nord. We thank you. The Honorable Nyonso. Madam Speaker, President, on behalf of the PAC, the Party of Land and Revolution, we congratulate you, President. And in congratulating you, Mr. President, see Avoya, a fifth parliament, it was in the hands of the wrong people. And we hope and wish that the sixth parliament will repossess and restore our land to its rightful owners. Congratulations. Okay. The Honorable Zungulu. Titanda Ubulisa. Nina Nonke, Honorable Members. Tatu Monga Mel, Tikrifan Ba, Bonka Banba, South Africa, Banovu, Yong Alom Zuz. Tabe Bona, I Parliament, Inokolo, Inokwang. And Lendo, Singa Kangela, Chief Justice, Otanda Zile, Namslanjo, a member of Tiko, Ukuze, Sikwazo, Kubang, Alangelas, Kubenga. In the city, I see ATM, Tau Kokela, Elizwe. Ukumbu, Lukoti, U Chief Justice, Umisa Uti Kopam Kwe to Si Song. Wesin Nakizi Koya South Africa, Lilong Elizwe Leti Lipela, Akuko Namye Umtu Eye Dwa Onogwaz Kuzulula. Siting Ukuba Song Sisi political party sitlangan. Sikse lukutu tikok koke, lukuzu slangan nise sile parliament, ukuze si seve aban balape South Africa. Aban balape South Africa, sebe lulile ukufuna itemba. Bafuna Uta Zulula, Gwenake Ezikoyo. We are tired of having hope. We want practical solutions to the problems that we have in the country. As the ATM, we want to commit ourselves to the parliament that will put South Africa first. And if you also put South Africa first, you will be working with us. I thank you. Thank you, sir. The Honorable Likota. Order. Order. Madam, Madam Speaker, thank you very much. I, 
because I've been a presiding officer before, I think, <laughs> because I've been a presiding officer before, I think I may venture to give you advice on how to be a presiding officer. Well, I'm not saying I'm an expert. I say I will venture, unless I'm not allowed. Am I allowed? Well, I'm not allowed to venture, so I won't, Madam Speaker. Mr. President, uh, having congratulated the Speaker, let me just say I have not been a president before, and I have never I've not even been an acting president. Ne so I will not venture to give you advice on how to do the task you have been given. I'd like to congratulate you that you are in this position. Like all citizens of our country, we will place our fate in your hands. We'll pray and we will follow assiduously as you do your work and we will provide what support we can give. If we think we are about to be in trouble, we will indicate that to you, that no, we think that now this is not right. But we will come and say it here and say it to you. Not in some shabin or tavern or drinking uh, places where you cannot hear what we think about that. So I'd like to say congratulations on your rise to this highest office of our land. You can count on all of us. Thank you, sir. The Honorable Gallo. Uh, thank you very much, Honorable Speaker, for the opportunity. At least today you didn't give us three minutes. Thank you for that. Honorable President, I'm sure you know that uh, in each and every human being, there are two fighting spirits. The positive one and the negative one. We will work tirelessly with you, Honorable President, to defeat the spirit of negativity inside our bodies. Because if you can defeat the spirit that is negative inside your body, you will be able to work for all South Africans because when you see a black person scavenging from the dust bins, you will know that you are not doing the correct thing. It cannot be correct that after 25 years of the so-called democracy, but the black people in this country are still kissing the dust. There is something wrong. Honorable President, we are going to support you only when you are assisting the blacks in this country to be at the level of economic freedom that will satisfy their needs. Otherwise, Honorable President, it's too late. The people of South Africa have given you the last chance. You and your ANC, you, ask, you must do the correct thing. Lastly, Honorable President, please, we are in a coalition. Don't, rem don't, re don't, 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 don't forget the plea of the people of Matatiel. Don't forget the people of Matatiel. Thank you very much. Thank you, Honorable Gallo. Oh, Honorable Gallo, 
the uh, um, I'm simply saying um, if you were a brand new member to the house I would not talk about your finger but please remember the rules about finger pointing next time control the finger honorable members may I ask us to suspend the house for three minutes the bells will be rung to bring us all back thank you house is suspended Right, so they're taking uh, a bit of a break, a three-minute break that's been called by the speaker. If you've just tuned in, you're watching uh, live pictures uh, from uh, the National Assembly where the new speaker in uh, the uh, Assembly, uh, Tandi Modise, is uh, running the business of the day. She was elected a little bit earlier on, getting 250 votes in the 400-seat uh, Assembly. And uh, she has uh, been now guiding us through the congratulatory speeches that are being put forward uh, by the various parties and most of the speakers uh, a common theme that's uh, coming through has been one of uh, congratulations uh, warm welcome but also saying that uh, mr. president we want to work together we want a new order there was even a reference